my first year of teaching was hi hello Willie Winston Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I want to apologize now for the yellow light. I really need to invest in a lighting kit or something because this light has got to go. Teach Like a Girl is an awesome YouTuber. You should definitely check out her channel. She did a first year teaching tag that I'm going to be doing also. My first year of teaching was not ideal. I got my first teaching position in October when the school year had already started. I was a paraprofessional, which is like a teaching assistant to the fifth grade class, and my principal needed another fifth grade teacher. I applied for the position and got it. What they did is they took a few students from each of the fifth grade classrooms and created a classroom for me. I'm not really sure how they picked students or what qualified them to be in my classroom. I just know that a few students were chosen and given to me to create another fifth grade classroom. So my first year of teaching was rough. I struggled as any first year teacher will. I struggled to build relationships with them. I struggled to get to know them because it was in the middle of the year. I thought that content was more important than my management, and that's when I knew I needed to get to know them. We had so many restorative circles, I cannot tell you, they were unsuccessful at that time because my students didn't trust each other, they didn't trust me, they didn't trust themselves. I look back at my first year of teaching as the biggest learning opportunity I could have been given as a school teacher. I had students disrespect subs, throw chairs, push desks. I had raised my voice so many times in that classroom, I cannot tell you how many times the media specialist had to come in to check to make sure that I was the one that was okay. I'm not proud of how many days I went yelling at those students because I didn't know any better. College didn't prepare me for the disrespectful student or the defiant student. They didn't prepare me on how to build relationships with my students. They didn't tell me how to communicate with a child. I had to learn that on my own. So I'm thankful that Teach Like a Girl created this tag because I do reflect on my first year of teaching almost daily in the classroom. It is one year that I will never forget. But on the positive side, my second year was my best and favorite year ever. They were the greatest kids. It was the class that I had about 18 and went down to 16 students and we had a great year. That was the year I learned how to teach. So if you have a rough year, there's always a flip side. You can get through 180 days and start fresh with a new group of students the following year. So let's get started with the tag. What was your worst moment in your first year of teaching? I remember my worst moment was when I stood in front of the classroom and I screamed at the top of my lungs. And if you can think of a cheerleader yelling in the middle of a football game, that is what my voice sounded like. What was your best moment in your first year? I don't think I had a best moment in my first year of teaching other than the great moment of getting my classroom keys. I think my best moment from that first year class came after, and it was when my previous students got to come up to me and tell me how proud they were of me and how sorry they were for how they acted. It was about a year or two later that I saw some of those students, and they actually thanked me for being their teacher, and I truly think they meant it. So my best moment came from after that first year even though I probably wasn't the best teacher for them and I probably didn't have my priorities straight, it was a learning experience for me. And I think they saw that as they matured and they were able to reflect and look back on it just like I am. What is your biggest regret from your first year? So I had a student who would always stomp her feet when she entered my classroom. She hated being there, she hated me, she didn't want to be there in my classroom and get to know me. And I can be honest and say the roles were reversed too. That's my biggest regret. I regret not getting to know her. I regret not getting to know why she was stopping coming into my classroom. If you have a student that is giving you the biggest issues in class, I challenge you to get to know them the most. What is something you wish you knew before you started teaching? I wish I knew that not all students love coming to school. Not all students want to be sitting in a chair all day. And not all students love to learn the same way. My undergrad did prepare me to differentiate instruction. However, they did not prepare me to get to know 26 other personalities. What advice would you give your first year teacher? Again, I said this in my last video, be prepared. I would rather be over prepared than under prepared any day. Over analyze everything that you think you need. Watch YouTube, go on Instagram, go on Pinterest. Get your ideas planned out now so that you're prepared going into your classroom. Your students will know when you are not prepared. Your students will know when you do not know what you are teaching. And it may be horribly time consuming, but it will be well worth it in the end. Because I took the time to really think about my instruction my first year, even though that it, my students gave me a hard time, 
My second year was a breeze and I loved them. I loved those kids. I loved that year. Again, it was my favorite year. So be prepared. That's my advice. If you'd like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in doing the first year teacher tag, I will link Teach Like a Girl's channel below so that you have access to her questions and channel. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I will see you guys in the next video.